Hello guys, my name is Mo King and you are welcome to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply the warp stabilizer and speed change on the same clip. Now, if you are new to Premiere Pro or you've been editing for a while, you would have noticed that you cannot apply warp stabilizer on a clip that already has speed change. So over here, I have a clip that is actually very slow. You can see the speed of this video is actually way slow beyond what I would actually want it to be. So what I will do here is to select the clip here, right click, click on speed duration, and you can change this from 100 to let's say I want to make this 300%. That's going to make it really faster. And then it's going to reduce the size, the length of the clip. So if I hit play now, you can see that the clip is actually way faster than how it was before. You can come over to your effects tab over here and search for the warp stabilizer under the video effect the distort folder select your warp stabilizer and apply it and you're going to receive this pop-up that says warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip so what i'm going to do now is to hit ctrl z to reverse that now the process of fixing this is actually very easy all you need to do is to select this clip right click and hit on nest I would suggest you give a suitable name for this clip. So I'm just going to give this drone shot. So it's going to be easy for me to remember this. So I'm just going to give you a drone shot. The first thing you will notice, or the next thing you will notice rather, is that the clip has turned green. And this is because it has turned from a normal footage into a sequence. So it's still going to act like a normal clip. It's still going to act like a normal clip, even though it has turned to a nested file so now you can just drag your warp stabilizer and place it directly on top of the clip and you will notice that premiere pro has now accepted it and it is analyzing it so if you come down to your effects control tab here you can see the warp stabilizer has been added you can add other effects you want to apply to it so a quick reminder of the processes that it takes first of all you want to adjust the speed to whatever speed you want it to become after you have done that, the next step is to right click and nest that clip. And the final step will be to add a warp stabilizer to that clip. Thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial to the end. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much guys.